Hi guys, I'm Oli Tabu. I'm the exec chef at Hyde Restaurant at 85 Piccadilly. Today I'm going to be cooking sea bream, uh, cooked table side in its own stock with some miyagawa, celery and toasted wild rice. So here we've got some beautiful sea bream from the Mediterranean. So just going to fillet this. We're going to use the bones and the heads for the sauce and then we're just chopping the bones into small pieces. It gives you more flavour and it means you can cook the sauce quicker. It's going to season them very lightly, add a little bit of garlic and going to roast these in a hot oven now, ready to be infused in a dashi. We're just now skinning it, trim off the belly, and then we're just going to brine this. Here we've got a 6% solution, salt to water. Because it's a thin fillet, eight minutes is all it takes just for the salt to penetrate. We're just going to dry that a little bit, we're just thinly slicing on the angle now. Then we'll store that in the fridge until needed. We're now preparing the broth that the bream is going to be cooked in. It's kombu, which we have here, simmered in water. So here we're adding some katsubushi. This is dried fermented tuna. A little bit of reduced salt, soy sauce, mirin. Just a little, little pinch of salt. Gently mix that together. Here we've got the bream bones that have just come out of the oven. We're going to add them to the stock as well. The broth's had 20 minutes infusing. Pass that through a sieve. And finally, just for a little bit of acidity, going to add some tosazu or dashi vinegar. Bulk of the garnish for this dish, crisp, lightly dressed vegetables. So starting with celery, peeling it into thin shavings, thin slices of cucumber as well. And it's going to slice it on the mandolin. We're just going to marinate both of them in sushi vinegar. We're also going to serve some chive curls, split down the middle, put them into ice water. Okay, so after just a few minutes, you get these lovely, beautiful chive curls all opened up. We're going to deep fry the nori. Doesn't take long because it's already so dry. So we'll strain that off. Now deep frying the wild rice, so this will puff up. And again, give a lovely, savoury cereal note to the broth. And we're going to mix them together. One part nori to two parts rice. This is going to be sprinkled over the dish. Building the dish itself, we're going to start with the cucumber, full layer across the bottom of the dish. Topping that with the sea bream, tempered before service. Grated citrus on top of the fish, the celery shavings. We're going to add the chive curls, fennel tips. Finally, some garlic flowers. Just going to get the broth now. We're going to add a couple of pipettes of ginger oil, the broth for the bream, add that to the ginger oil. We're not just going to serve it in front of the customer, we're going to cook it in front of them as well. Pouring the hot broth over the bream, then scattering over the rice and the nori, this will infuse in the broth as well. Then a lid just to help it steam. This dish is sea bream cooked table side in its own broth with celery, miyagawa and toasted wild rice.